Now why I'm saying he's a granny digger Just looking for your bus tickets Now why I'm saying Oh hey Yeah I'm Rob Jury Hey how are things? How you started? Alright um Well come in I just gotta finish getting ready I like to uh Keep looking the same all the time. Like I keep my hair the same. I keep my beard the same. Uh, so they can easily recognise me. I wear the same clothes. They've got to be able to see me and instantly know that uh, that's Rob Jury. I like to start every day with uh, eight wee bix. Uh, I think it's important. Like breakfast is important. I need my energy. I need to be on the ball when I'm like with these old ladies. Having regular routines is important. It's important for me. It's important for them. I start with breakfast. Get up breakfast, and uh, then like you know get ready and face the day, make some little old lady a bit happy. Granny digging? No, no, I mean, I'm an independent aged care worker. Uh, I don't even know where that came from. I like uh, befriend these little old ladies. I show them a good time, I take care of them, I keep them company. You know, what I do is, uh, it's a job, it's a job. And I don't get paid now, but uh, I'll get paid in the future at some stage. Um, and they pass on, you know. These ladies, they don't have children. So uh, who are they gonna leave their, uh, their houses to and uh, their possessions, the, the government, no, that's terrible. I used to live next door, me, Mrs. McCafferty, like, who was living here, uh, passed away and she left me this house. So it just sort of, I just fell into it, I guess. It just happened, like, uh, one day I was just a house owner and uh, I didn't even like Mrs. McCafferty. I, I didn't even know why she picked me, like, I helped to take a trash out a few times or whatever. That's when I realized I could become uh, a lot of different old ladies' surrogate child. Like, uh, I'm like a son, I'm like a, I become a son to these people. Oh well, I used to buy lottery tickets because uh, I've always been looking for that one big score. Yeah, just never won anything. And uh, then suddenly I got this place from Mrs. McCafferty, and uh, yeah, I scored big. And I realised that um, the only way to uh, to keep that up was to just repeat repeat the process. So I meet these little old ladies, and um, yeah, that's the plan. Like I'm just waiting for that next score, which uh, undoubtedly will come. I select little old ladies that own their own home or have some kind of assets that don't have any children, except me, I'm like, I've become that child. Oh, well, technically I'm unemployed, but it's a full-time job. I spend a fair bit of time with them, you know, like a couple of hours a day. I take this pretty seriously. You've got to put effort in if you want to uh, be rewarded. Now why I'm saying he's a granny digger? Yeah, I go to a few different centres because uh, uh, it's a great place to find future candidates. Today in particular, this is where uh, Audrey likes to come and socialise, so uh, I come and socialise with her and, you know, impress upon her friends what a great guy I am. It's important for her friends to be able to say, oh, Robbie, what a great guy. And uh, so, you know, I come and entertain them all, play bingo with everybody. And uh, But the important thing is it's about Audrey today. You know? Hello, Audrey. Oh, uh, hi, Jim. How are you today? Uh, it's Rob. Um, I'm good, thanks. Yeah, I brought you some flowers. Oh, how sweet of you. Get up, girl. Go ahead. Get up. I've been doing this for nearly two years now. It takes time to develop a bond and become a child. Also, I'm just waiting for someone to die. So, fingers crossed. Yeah, I just, I'll just, just keep doing it every day. Keep seeing these people. I've got one for every day of the week, except Sundays, of course. You know, even God took that off. Yeah, I'm just waiting for the payoff. Waiting for someone to uh, die. I'm there for these people in their twilight years. Uh, when they've got nobody else, they've got me. You know, that's that's who they've got. You know, I care for them. You know, I'm a care worker, or at least uh, well, they they think I care. That's the important thing. I keep them entertained. I keep them company. Visit them every day. So I'm doing it for the payoff. That money is just going to go where it's going to go. It's going to go nowhere. It's going to be wasted. So it's you know, I'm just uh, just absorbing something that's that's just going to disappear otherwise. You know, it's, I think it's a good thing. It's like throwing water into the sea. I'm just, whoa, whoa, I, I, I'm taking that water before it hits the ocean and it's gone and why shouldn't it go to me, you know, and uh, they're getting something for their money, they're getting uh, a better quality of life just towards the end, yeah, I think, uh, I think that's a good thing. Audrey just died, I just got a call now, um, yeah, it's a shock, a good shock. I'm so happy. It's incredible. Uh, it's incredible news. Yeah, the will reading on Monday, it's going to be very exciting. Obviously, I'm not going to go to the funeral because what's the point? She can't change her will now. It's payday. It's payday. Can't believe it finally happened. This is real good. Real good. I wonder how much I'll get. Now, why I'm saying he's a granny digger? Hey, glad you could make it. Um, this is it, this is it, uh, shit, um, right, this isn't 
good. This is um Is this the real reading for Audrey? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Alright, it's not good. Hey, try the club. Oh hey, um, yeah, I didn't get anything. I didn't, I didn't get anything at all. Like, she gave everything to charity. Everything. I'm charity. That's that's who she'd be getting at me. And it turns out that I wasn't even the only guy she was seeing. There were like six others. She had like one for every day of the week. Like I was Tuesday. Unbelievable. I can't believe she's supposed to be my Tuesday. I got five other women, so I just, you know, wait for one of them to die. Uh, just hope it doesn't take another two years. I really need a reward. This is uh, very disappointing. I feel unappreciated. Now I ain't saying he's a granny digger. I'm just looking for your bus tickets. Now I ain't saying he's a granny digger. I park his bus within 10 meters. Get up, girl, go ahead, get up. 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 No, I ain't saying he's a granny digger. I'm just looking for your bus tickets. No, I ain't saying he's a granny digger. I park his bus within 10 meters.